If you have cats, you've probably heard of the dangers of contracting toxoplasmosis, a potentially fatal disease from our cat's feces. Is it really something to worry about, or is it just a sensational headline? Let's start with the facts. Toxoplasmosis is primarily a foodborne illness transmitted through eating undercooked meat or through ingesting food contaminated with the parasite Toxoplasma gondii. Up to half the world's population, including 60 million Americans, are currently carrying the Toxoplasma parasite. Most people develop no symptoms at all after infection because our immune system prevents the parasite from causing illness. But some infected people may experience something like a flu for several weeks to several months, requiring no medical treatment. However, people with weakened immune systems can have very serious side effects, including vomiting and seizures. Pregnant women who are newly exposed to the parasite could infect their unborn child, which could seriously harm their development. So where do cats come in? The cat family is a definitive host, where the parasite can reproduce and pass through their feces. All other warm-blooded mammals are intermediary hosts that can be infected. Cats don't automatically carry the Toxoplasma parasite. They get it from feeding on rodents and birds who are carrying the parasite from their mothers or through being fed raw meat. Once infected, cats shed the parasite in their feces for up to three weeks in the form of microscopic oocysts. The parasite is only infectious in their feces through spores that develop after one to five days outside of the cat's body and can then survive in soil and water for several months. Poor hygiene can lead to accidentally ingesting the oocysts after cleaning the litter box, gardening in contaminated soil, or ingesting anything contaminated by the parasite. So the question remains, should you worry about getting toxoplasmosis? Well, the general answer is yes. Acute infections in at-risk people can lead to hospitalization and death. But to the question, should you worry about getting toxoplasmosis from your cat? The answer is no. You're much more likely to get it from eating undercooked meat or drinking contaminated water. The risk from your cat is extremely low. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't still be careful. What can you do to prevent toxoplasmosis? Only eat meat that has been well cooked and wash your fruits and vegetables thoroughly. Freeze meat for several days at sub-zero temperatures before cooking. Do not eat raw or undercooked oysters, mussels, or clams. Wash utensils and surfaces well after coming into contact with raw meat. Teach children the importance of hand washing and avoiding places that could be contaminated. Keep cats indoors where they are much less likely to ingest the Toxoplasma parasite or pass it to other animals. Only feed your cats canned or dry commercial grade food or well cooked meat. Never flush used cat litter, even if it says it's flushable. The parasite can survive filtration and harm aquatic wildlife and our drinking water. Avoid handling stray cats or letting new cats into the home that might have been outdoor cats. Since the parasite in the fecal matter is infectious only after 24 hours, clean the litter daily. Wash your hands well with soap and water after cleaning the litter box or gardening. If you are pregnant or immunocompromised, the CDC recommends not cleaning the litter box, but that, if you have to, wear disposable gloves and wash your hands well. With education and simple precautions, there's no reason to fear toxoplasmosis, especially from your house cat. If you have any concerns or questions, please contact your healthcare provider.